In this video, we'll be taking a look at Cloudinit. Before I tell you what Cloudinit is, I'm going to give us a bit of background information on what DevOps is. So essentially, in the past, if you were working in the IT section of a company, you might end up configuring a lot of systems using the UI manually. But nowadays, that isn't very practical, it's not very scalable, and you run into a lot of issues where developers will have their code working in the dev environment, but the moment you move that over to production, it doesn't work, and you have no real way of telling what kind of differences there are in the environment because it was all done manually. So now we try our best to capture this kind of stuff in code. And so Cloudinit essentially allows you to write a file and then pass that as an argument when you go to create your VM. And essentially it'll allow you to create files, configure your VM, and also download packages. And so what we'll do first is we'll just go ahead and create the file. And so to do that, we'll use sensible editor and we'll call it cloud init.txt. And then Give me a second here. I'm going to copy this. And so what this is doing is it's downloading the following packages. So Nginx, Node.js, and then NPM. And then what it's going to do is it's going to configure Nginx, which is our web server. And it's also going to use Express to start listening on port 3000. And so we will go ahead and save that. And now, as always, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a group. We'll call it group example and the location will be the east of US. And now to seems to be having a nightmare right now. Ubuntu LPS, long-term support. The username we'll take is Azure user. We need to generate the SSH keys. And now we're going to, this is the part that's different, we're going to pass in the file, which is cloud init.txt and this might take a while so I'll go ahead and talk about what we need to do next so after this uh, VM is created we're gonna have to open up the port now I was a little surprised that while I was going through the documentation the port could not be opened from the configuration I could be wrong here if someone wants to leave a comment saying that it isn't the case, but we will be using Azure commands to open up port 80 after the fact. And if this ends up taking too long, I'm going to pause the video, maybe go check up on my dog. And so we're going to want to keep track of this IP address because we're going to need it later. And so now what we want to do is we want to open up the port. So open port, port 80. We need to specify the resource group, which is example, and the name, which is my um, Open port, port 80, resource group. resource group. All right, 
now that that's done, we can go ahead and take the public IP address and try to connect to it. Now this may or may not work just because it might take a, a few minutes for it to finish setting up. But you can see it created the directory with our express code. And there you have it right there. We have our hello world message from our VM in the cloud. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I will be sure to put the link to the configuration file in the description. Bye.